So, let me try to bring you guys up to speed. We are up to just over 60 animals here now. So, let me take you back to the next animal we got. We got the bunnies with our first goat and we lost our doe. Well, the buck does us no good without a doe. So, we reached out to Tiny Shiny Home to see if their bunnies, they had the classic trio that they started with, and we were wondering if they had any litters yet, and maybe we could get a doe from them. Well, turns out they learned they had three does, and ended up losing one. So, they said, you know, we don't have any babies, but you can have the bunnies. So, we're like, okay. So, we went out and got two does from Tiny Shiny Home. brought him home and my son wanted to rename him so we have dark chocolate and Snickers. Now Snickers passed away for reasons we don't know, I'm thinking it's the heat in the Arizona desert, so I think I have a solution for that. We're going to build um, a more natural rabbit habitat, more like what a rabbit would be living in out here. So anyway, we still had one doe and one buck. Well, we had a lot of trouble getting them to breed. Um, so. I ended up leaving them together for a little while, and it worked. <laughs> He's so cute, I just make those crunchy noises. He's so cute. Alright, so we got the baby piggies to eat, fed the puppies, now it's time to go out to the yard and see if we have any baby bunnies. So I got our Havana um, dark chocolate DC, our dough, into her own little um, hutch last night with the nesting box, gave her a whole bunch of fresh hay, and she was grunting like all day long and there was already um, little bits of fur in her nesting box so she's already started pulling fur so I'm hoping any day now baby bunnies mother's instinct I am so glad that I got her ready last night second baby's born on the homestead this is so exciting Look at all the fur. When I saw that she had started pulling some fur and putting it in here, I knew right away. You see it moving? There's definitely babies in there. Oh, I'm so excited. So I have to make sure she has food. Don't let her run out of food. And after I get everybody else taken care of, I'll come back and We'll check on the babies and see that everybody's okay in there. Make sure we don't have any stillbirths, you know, take out any that didn't make it. Super exciting! Yay! So I'm going to attempt to show you the babies. 
I just don't want to freak mom out too much, you know? She's doing so good though. Oh, mom, mom. Yeah, you are. Okay. Doing so good, do you see? Aren't they adorable? They're gonna look like mama. And look, their little bellies. Let me see if I can get a better way to hold this so I can show you. My husband had concern that he hasn't seen her in here feeding them. So I told him about my research and some people say you will never see her in there feeding them. Sometimes you just will never see it. But she is, and how you can tell is that their little bellies, <sighs> their little bellies are nice and plump. See that plump little belly? And that's how you know that she's feeding them. And they're very active. They have lots of energy. You can see all their little bellies are good and plump. See the plump? Plump little bellies. And that's how I know she is doing her job. She's doing an amazing job. Yes, she is. And number four. Let me check you. Why are you all the way back here? Oh, you're good too. Yeah, you are. Look at you, babies. Nice, plump little belly. See that? Nice, plump little belly. Oh, parents are brothers and sisters. Yeah. Oh, they're up here trying to stay cool. It's kind of a warm day. Oof. Good job, Mama. Yes. You are doing fantastic, lady. Absolutely fantastic. Now, some people, some people are also afraid that handling the babies might cause the mom to reject them. And because I handle her, she knows my scent. I'm my scent to her. My scent to her means food. She knows my scent is food, and so my scent is not going to stop her from taking care of her babies. Um, so don't be afraid to check them. You do need to check, and if there are any that are not alive, you need to take them out because they can make the other ones sick. But from what I know, she is doing a fantastic job. Good mama. Good mama. Oh, how do you do? 
One more look at the bunnies. Good job, Mama. So, I'm not an expert. I'm learning. But as I'm learning, I'll share with you what I know. Because, you know, it is concerning. I haven't seen her in there feeding them yet. But they're good and healthy. So, she's doing fantastic. So, super exciting. Now, we are breeding rabbits for the purpose of having meat rabbits. But these... These rabbits are not meant for that. Right now, we are still building up all of our breeding stock. Um, so these bunnies are not destined for freezer camp right now. So don't worry about that. <laughs> but this is super exciting because that is actually the second of the birds we've had here on the homestead already. So... Be sure to keep watching to learn about what animals we got next and I'll tell you their story if you haven't already heard some of the sounds here in the background. I probably don't have to say much. Snickers was probably one of my favorite. I loved her perfect half and half harlequin face. And she was actually the first one that we tried breeding. Loss is something that comes naturally with a homestead. And though we can always try to do our best to prevent that and give them all the best life we can, it happens. I still want to say thank you to Tiny Shiny Home for gifting us their bunnies and we will have lots more on what we have planned for them coming soon. Um, more updates on the babies who are doing awesome and the breeding plans that we have coming up next. Also, to avoid more loss before summer gets here, our plan is to have a rabbit habitat, an actual little magical warren for them to live in. So, stay tuned and follow along and you can see what we come up with.